Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, Mrs. Morris. Yes. Good afternoon. Suppose you have a harem me by shortly by Mr. Talk of English number. So if you have any queries, you start now. Uh, suppose you have a here, uh, harem me clearly, please indicate before I'm going to follow English. Yes, me, are you clear? Yeah. Good afternoon, Mrs. Morris. This is the from Tawenu, just informing you that teachers, we are in one group. So we are, yes. will be free from my phone. Pamina, uh, me, and uh, Clemo. Thank you. Yes. Uh, good afternoon. Belinda uh, Calories. Mrs. Morris, Songi here. Yeah, where are you? Thank you. Thank you. If you um, suppose you please have a um, change them or code, please. Like instead of you, Mister, looking eight five eight five four three nine seven zero eight one, change it to your name. So Mister, yes, this is this person. Mister, talk talk one college fee or one phone number. Okay. Good afternoon, Evelyn Joel at Manua School. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Evelyn. And now you're training with Belinda, right? Yes. Evelyn and Belinda at Manua. Yes. Anybody else? We do not know more. Mimo Belinda no more. Evelyn and Belinda Calories. Okay. What about Glenda? Clenda, part of your team, or uh, Clenda can stop maternity leave. Oh, she's on maternity leave. Yes. Is she going to study? Uh, I no, mean, no, 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 Okay. Okay, just inform her to get in touch with me to indicate whether she's studying or she wish to defer to second semester or next year. <laughs> Okay, um, so far we have uh, Thelma and Clemon joining from Kawenu, right? And yes, this. and Pamina. Pamina, so that's three of you. Um, Daniel still? Is it? Yes, good afternoon. We have Daniel and we have, uh, we have an administrator, 85. And we have uh, probably... You can change your name. <laughs> so at least Mr. Who Mr. Address him. <laughs> it's a phone, a phone number five five four three nine seven zero eight seven. If you can change it to your name. Mm -hmm. And there's um, S224 7532. I can see your hands and face if you can change it to your name. How now, by how can we do it? We can your name. Okay, when you then you start, you click, you got the uh, meeting, join the meeting. After I get the meeting passcode, after Pahemi asking you, say, how, how do you wish to enter or something? So Pahemi come, Pahemi indicate. After firstly, Pahemi, so I'm, uh, what is it? Mobile brand for you or laptop. So, so place a number, you click them, but send them whatever you wish to change. But suppose where you look so you know, so at game, don't waste your time. It's okay. Just indicate it yourself. <laughs> Yes. 
suppose so you know sabe you know you know program help you learn for the time thing and really that important as long as you identify yourself as uh, your caroline or your uh, james or whoever and you're right for the time being you know really mind Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Miss Baikamot. This is Morris. Yes. Central Hall. Okay. Diane, good afternoon. Welcome. Who are you good with afternoon. this afternoon? Me, what the everyone of the Central School, what the Mrs. Combs and Rachel I China Nivala. Oh, good. So there's Elma, there's Daniel, Linton, and uh, Mrs. Punkton from Seaside yes. Community. Okay, yes. Good. So just use at least one um, device so that it would be clear instead of using several and then by uh, static is uh, affect them listening or you wanting to speak. So okay. you want us to use only one laptop. Good. So it's easier that you like communicate so you know got static by affect them listening label or that one label on them ask one question. Okay. <clears throat> you, you may continue blow the welcoming you if you have any queries, you start asking Maya. Yeah. Not really queries regarding um, course, but any other matters, but you wait until there's about 22 of us, because we got 25 or 30 by that them uh, session being. Has anyone got any queries? You have a time on, um, but you look mic for you. Some people have a mute, some people need to unmute. So that you want them to uh, communicate, you unmute. So that you have a mute, I miss a mute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody know what any pressing matter blast him? So far, welcome so far, Mr. Luca, twenty four participants. Um, okay, you got the uh, you start a team by you start Haram, so you start lawyer. Yes. Go ahead, uh, Songi. Well, you ask him to in on money, got something to look at them. Go ahead. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so far you may get about 24. It's uh, if I'm reading from my screen, you got uh, read me note 11, you got LinkedIn, you got play was not ready. We have Liza Mugini from Pendigos, you may get Emo from Pele, you may get uh, Telma Choel and Co, you may get Caroline Sele, we have administrator five for whatever. And then we have another 854. Uh, I think this is a code number. And then we have the host. And then you make it 041392. And then we have the link and myself. So there's about 23 of you. Okay, okay. So. If it's 24, uh, Kawano, there should be about three of you. So that's 25, 26. Um, 
Central School, there's about uh, four, five reading, is it? Yep. Ryan? There's about yes. four of you. So, so far we have about 30 people joining in. Okay. Because mathematics, numeracy, plumbing, threat. Liza, if you can hear me, are you by yourself or I'm sure Liza, what are you? Liza Mogini? Me with the banchela. Okay. So there's about 31. Yeah. Oh, so to see you. Yeah. Thank you for joining us from Pentecost. You are from Tastapanga School, right? Oh. Kamal Mawa. Kamal Mawa. Kamal Mawa. We keep mixing that name. Kamal Mawa. Thank you. Kutlu looking which bit wala. Anyone from Sando is Donny James um, training in? No. Any other one from Sando training this afternoon? Sanma, sorry. Or oh, Jane from Torpa? Yes. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. We love Jane Lord of Baldwin Lonsdale Memorial Primary School. Oh. Welcome, at least you're training this time. A chain is of a chain, chain. After this, then you have a speed de la ronde, you find chain Mary, right? Yeah. Yes, welcome, welcome from Torpa. So at least we have someone from Torpa. We have the ladies from Benama. Uh, who else? Uh, Tony in uh, this Tafia group, when I look anyone is training. Or if someone from Tana is uh, tuning in, could you at least indicate? Sayo Tony Wolo and the others. Like was um, next time, can you invite uh, what's his name? Kamistia Samu. Uh, Kamistia. Kamistia. Ah, okay. Anyone you want them tell me something before we start? Okay, uh, Evelyn Joel. Yes. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Like some Emmy Emmy Festia blo mi vela, some as Philip some mi, but some bami talem semi, but some Emmy Festia mo Emmy Festia blo mi blo mi ya mi 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 make them course. Okay, um, mi mi come late, mi come in late, mi with them a friend blo mi or some mi vela no catch up lo some you missed up lo last week lo number eleven, pe mi vela you no really catch up after mi too late to catch up. We have about the same law program or timetable, say, we got all date where all assignment we must do. How about suppose we late law assignment by you, no, so we penalize them for the same first time. Thank you, Evelyn. Query play you by me, Kavrema, plus the same with the date. And time semester is that we are starting with the cohort there. There's about as of today, I have 101 students. Okay, 101 students means if I keep prolonging proficiency to talent, say, okay, today, a week, yeah, and then you ask them extension, and then you ask them extension, but you got a result for you next year one time. So, in all fairness, it means time management, blame me, by me. You may not blame me, manage and time, blame me. So far, as of yes, uh, wait, when was it Sunday? Sunday, me check him say, outlaw 99 will he registered finish. How much will he access the model? There's about 53 only access the model, 44 never. So, is that indicating, Lomi say, 
as of now, yeah, but you need prolonged them in a really prolonged them. But you need to continue to upload in two weeks from by you need to be well in for the otherwise, but you need to have them course as in December. So in all fairness, but you must give him one good reason. Why are we joining late? Okay, otherwise, everybody, by you need to give him some treatment like every month. You come late, you keep up. That is why by looking at the total uh, pages, you start to put the week one, week two. So time management, we need to play the Yes, to some extent, we can be flexible, but due date is a due date because tracking 101 people, uh, three more by the game, almost 105 people. You imagine and say, you got how much student law class do you? And I have this, and you like a face to face class too. Is that answer your query, Evelyn? Yeah, thank you. Hello. Yes, good afternoon. Good yes. afternoon, Daniel. Yes, go ahead, Daniel. How about um, you? You flexible with them first week to let's say one month. Let me fly. Coming from full of blue, you're a little bit of a program. Push it after no minimal assignment. Blue, there's no assignment yet. The assignment ah, okay. is due. We we'll only have weekly forum, and the forum yeah. cannot lock. Okay, well, forum, I mean, no lock him all get yet. I mean, lock him and end of the month. And okay. by me looking 101 or 105, we may expect them to have plus in the mean receipt or registration by end of the day. Then we should, by me looking, say yes, everybody has had the chance to look in. As of now, no look in any something. Else. Okay. I think it's great, Daniel. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Shall we make a start? Everybody is uh, only tuning in, finish? Yes. Okay, if you, a um, few reminders before you, we make a start because I can actually hear someone answering the phone. Suppose you stop one them answering phone, you mute, you mute your speaker so that we don't hear your conversation. And I'll ask something, suppose we have phone blue and stuff close up to you, they need to silent or vibrate so that in this seven group we can start with the new. Otherwise, give this uh, uh, one hour time to ourselves, to the 30 plus of you who are already in, after we can make a one stop. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, if I like, was small, I need to, like you people, me too, in a school for a model, you never want, and soon, you never want, you start to push it all together, which is a good thing. So, when I'm learning, you start learning at the same time. I need to do something. Okay, I need to post the share and screen for me, and now I don't know where it is. <laughs> Okay, if like everyone is have a look. Yes. Can you Not see yet. the screen? Hold the paper. Okay. Uh, wait. So we talk about stem by me contact them who's playing a play me play me so we share and screen them. I 
Okay, share the screen. Um, sorry, small time. It's a time to contact them uh, all get a willing host, one at Platinia and one at uh, Prima, Plo only enabling, let me have a certain screen. Keep asking your question so that you meet our same time. What is the Marin? Uh, Mr. Sama. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, um, Philip. Is yes, it? yes, that's, yes, that's me. Yeah, Madam. Good afternoon, Loyu Motim. Me, Mr. Tablo, Salo South Malakula, Lo Masculine Island. Uh, so you, what a Mr. Warren? Is it Warren? Yes, Mr. Mina, Mr. Pa, make him up with Mr. Warren. Yes. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Tremblo, uh, just waiting for all hosts for meeting up, for allowing me to have a certain screen for me so you can see the slide while I'm presenting, but I'm waiting for them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's, um, uh, can you uh, enable him uh, screen to share screen for me, please? Go ahead. Um... Philip, if you can, um, you want to tell him something of the happen. Uh, yes, yes, we want to tell them something, mm -hmm. madam. Madam, suppose you, suppose you are me, you are me clear. Madam, madam. Mr. Warren, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, Madam, Okay, you may wait low all host slowly and allow me to have a share and screen. Uh, in just a full sense, the road. So, probably about five, five more minutes or ten more minutes. So, if anyone had any pressing matter, uh, you can find it in a text me long morning about from what I'm not in the PNDF um, list. Anyone of these and this the one that's running the install list, please ask. Please plus the NBF for all sponsorship for loan. Anyone you know got any queries later? Like we just have to talk no more. And if anyone has any queries, let me ask them. Otherwise, for you wait and they only allow me to have a CRM screen and then by you say me on stop. Welcome, Michael Otak, right? Michael, can you hear me? Uh, Michael, suppose you have a harami to um, 
you unmute, unmute yourself so that uh, you talk to me I can see you hiding under an umbrella. It must be really uh, malakula. Yes. That is not. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's sunny or raining? It's raining now. Oh, it's raining now. Okay. Can, okay. You, can you hear me, madam? Good afternoon. Yes, Mr. Weharan, you good afternoon and welcome. Someone from Malamba beside uh, Philip is uh, training in on behalf of Mr. Christy, Mr. Warren, right? Yes. yes. So at least you, you may get someone lost central. And we're so sorry about your principal. Please do look after yourself. Was oh, he your you. principal, the late uh, Mr. Uh, Ivan? Mr. Mr. Ivan. Yes. Yes. yes, he was my uh, school principal. All right. so Sorry it, too much it's, for your yes. loss. Yes. If I the make him last five days blame now. After Mr. Camp, lo, part inside lo, uh, Zoom meeting to you meet this afternoon. Okay, good. Time by you may start, you will have a time of... Um, because sometimes they miss the use of my camera with them uh, speakers same time. And it's a very good time to leave So what we can do is time where Nipa may start, then you can turn off your camera. You know, really necessary to stop looking, uh, face to me or whatever, but you a follow so that it, you know, no conflict too much. Yes. So to get the end. Or oh, you have a mute one after you follow along. Hello. Hello. Okay. What? Is... <laughs> you bless have a look screen, Lumi? Yes. Yes. Yes, everyone, have a look screen? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Can you see the whole screen now? Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> Some learners I look screen yet. Yes. Not yet. Can we look? Not yet. Miss Evrel. Not yet. Miss Evrel. Yes. Do look screen yet? Do look you want? No. Do look you want? No. Look. Uh, one name. No. Not, not, not yet, madam. No. Look you want, Papa. Okay. You should. Look him, uh, Tammy Talent shared screen, but you look him screen for me, but he make it. Welcome to week two, DPS 112, Educational Psychology. You know, look face for no, me, but yet. you look screen. Uh, Miss Everell? 
Yeah. Iga tuan sang ni ngamol tu screen tu misi sum quit unexpected di. After tahun si sum send tu sum which one ya? Send to Zoom. Can you close MMA or what's on it? Tell us to send to Zoom. Yes, you stop. Before I close screen, please, you will stop logging face blue. I think it's from you. No, no, you know, you know, send them. Can you turn send, huh? Yes, you know, you know, send. Okay, it's right. Okay. Pai screen ni, pai tahu mui pai kat tuan split lo saya dah, pai you start lo saya dah, dan saya tol slide. Yes. You should be able to see my screen. Yes. Slide tu tengah. Yes. Yes. Baik lihat now. Terang screen. See, I'm still learning as well, so you're not alone in trying model and everything. Everybody is learning. Shall we make a start? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. This afternoon you should have with you <clears throat> before me Safogat and Blore reminded me that this uh, session will be recorded. And the other thing is they will not be no longer we will no longer be using a lot of Islam because this is only the English cohort. So it will be entirely in English. And this other thing that I'd like to remind you of. Uh, next time please come with a pen. Also, uh, if you can download and print your assessment task and it's weekly note if you can print them and bring them over so that whenever I'm talking you can follow from your end. The slide I'm about to share with you they are from last week and also this week as well. So without any further ado welcome thank you all for joining this afternoon there's about almost 40 of us so we're going to make a start. I'm sorry, people who are chatting and texting over. I will not be responding to you and I will not be responding to uh, phone calls until after our session is over. So please bear with me. Whatever you need to do, you can always ask later. So as for those who did not join last week, this course is called EDPS 112 Educational Psychology. And it is a um, 16 weeks course and it is worth the 15 credit point. So what does it mean for you when we come to the assessment part, you will see the detail of why is it important to start tracking your studies from now on. Welcome to week two, EDBS 112 Educational Psychology. What are you supposed to be expecting or to learn by the end of this session? One, you should be familiar with the calendar or schedule for this course. Two, we are going to review week one topics. Three, we are going to be to familiarize ourselves with week two topic. Number four is familiar with forum participation and formative assessment. Number five is assessment one, assignment one explanation. Number six is communication in Moodle platform and other mediums of communication. Number seven is to review the study skills and time management review. So for those of us who were not present last week and you should have seen in the first page of our Moodle platform for EDPS 112, you should have already downloaded this calendar. It's more or less the same one. So this last week, sorry, from the 15th to, sorry, the 11th to the 15th of April, we are still on major topic one and we look at educational psychology and the changing profession. On the other side, you should have starting date for assignment one. So last week, your assignment one has already started. This week from the 18th to the end, the 22 or the 24th on Sunday, we are looking at informal, non-formal and formal learning. And then next week we will be looking at constructive alignment. So just so you are looking at my screen, we have 16 weeks and we started last Speak on the 11th of April, and our closing date for this course will be the 29th or the 30th or 31st of July 2022. And that is when semester one ends, and you should be ready for semester two. So, in this course, we have five major topics and we have 20 subtopics. So, on a weekly basis, we will be looking at each topic, either one or two per week. So 
It may not be really clear on the screen, but you should already download this and familiarize yourself with them. Moving on, last week we had a topic. One was educational psychology and our topic two was the changing profession. Just for review purposes, according to this course, what is educational psychology? And we have a couple of philosophers of people who have already studied this and they were the one who recorded this down. The first one is P.F. Skinner. He defines psychology as the, the science of behavior. As you may have read, if you want to, you can always go to Kumari and Sundari in Rao, 2006. It's, those are writers that they document what Skinner has stated. Also, we have Fennel and Fennel, 20, uh, 2004. He explained that psychology is also another branch of how we look at behavior and experience. Tuckman and Monetti, in 2013, they revealed that it is a scientific study of behavior and mental processes. In general, psychology aims to give a better understanding of how organisms, whether big or small, whether we are not only dealing with children, but people in general, how do they behave according to the way their brain is working. So, yeah, where we are, how we behave, and more importantly, how do we learn? That is exactly what we want to discover in this course. So from the teaching perspective, educational psychology help us as teachers to understand our students and also to inform ourselves that what are the better ways of teaching that I can use in order to enable my students to learn better. So in short, how is educational psychology applied in the classroom? According to Shakir and Shama 2017, they said that it helps us to understand and to effectively communicate to students about the expectation like we're doing right now. It also gives positive or verbal or non-verbal reinforcement every now and then we need to repeat our instructions whether they are to help students do something or to remind them of their behavior to provide corrective feedback to the learners. We can either do this verbally or we do it in writing. For example, most of our marking we will write down very good or you need to in uh, improve such things, they are part of the psychology that we are apply, applying in our instructions. Also, Tuckman and Monetti provide another view to uh, psychology mm -hmm. that both scholars stated that the relations to education psychology, the practicality, and how does our mind work? Some of us, our minds can work faster. Some people, they need to be repeated. Some people, they need to see diagrams and so forth. So it helps us as teachers understand that when we have 30 or 35 plus students in our classroom, the first one and the second one, they're totally different from each other. And that is when it helps us to design whether our learning activities or our instruction should slow or should go fast or should we provide extra help to those type of students in our classrooms. Moving on, our major topic two was uh, the changing profession. The changing profession in this aspect is relating to how does the teaching profession has changed over the years. Kumbaya, if you can think quickly from the time when we were students in primary classrooms, for most of us, maybe for some of us, we have sat in a wild game classroom with there's only a blackboard and a piece of chalk and a taster. And there's only, we are all receiving from the teacher. Compared to nowadays, there's multiple of resources around us that we can use to enhance teaching and learning as well. So the changing profession here is not relating to anything else, but the teaching career or education in general that we are in. So the changing profession, these slides are taken from the same slides that they are uploaded. The four trends or the ways that have affected, uh, affected uh, teaching profession over the year is the increased diversity of students. Right now, I think after the lockdown, uh, before the lockdown, sorry, you have understand 
that if there are 35 students in your classroom, you know that each one of them is different. You may also have special needs students that you know how to relate to them. You may also have different ways of presenting your lessons. So it, the, our increased diverse way of dealing with students and understanding them over the years have changed dramatically. The second one is the spread of instructional technology in schools. Okay, for instance, right now, due to COVID or uh, covering the distance in order to uh, at least have some session with 100 plus of you, Zoom has provided a way for us to get together despite the distance. Also, for some of us, our um, assessment are not really written anymore. We are typing it, whereas before, I remember during my first days of teaching, I have to swing a machine called a duplicating machine where the carbons were used later as a uh, matte painting for the ladies. I know most of you may have not seen or they're slipping somewhere, but they have changed dramatically. Number three is the increased expectation for accountability in education. Today, we're not only dealing with the students on a daily basis, but we report to their parents. We report to the principal. In then when the principal receive those information, they are uploaded into the open family system where the policy and planning people, they receive them and they make use of them and it goes as far as the UNESCO. So whatever the outcome of our results are at the end of the year, we will also contribute to UNESCO's education report for the Pacific as well. Also our assessment, they are becoming more and more changing. We have Panster, we have Vilna and all sorts, and they inform us how exactly and what exactly we are supposed to deal with. And the last one is the development of increasing professional development among teachers. Teachers do not only graduate from the teacher's college, but we continuously have um, professional developments every now and then we go to workshops, either formal or non-formal, and every day we're learning around us, around us and what we should be doing. And those are part of our professional development as well. Even if you log into Moodle and you try to find your way around, that is also part of your professional development, whether you realize it or not. So the changing profession, in education, why is it important and why should we realize it that it's trend present new opportunities, not only for us, but for our students as well. And also, let us not forget that when new changes come, they also come with new challenges. For example, these days we are not allowed to apply corporal punishment anymore and students are aware and they take advantage of their rights and they misbehave knowing that you are not going to deal with them in any other way. So how do you deal with those students? We also have parents coming in, wanting and demanding that this is how you should be teaching my child. How do we cope with all this? We also have issues, for example, the homeschool packages. During our teaching training phase, we did not really learn how to be developing um, homeschool packages, right? But right now we're trying our best to apply to new situations and it has become a challenge for us. How do we trace that learning has happened even without our presence when the students are with their parents? The other one is it enables us teachers to make constructive use of what we are dealing with every day. For some of us, we have special needs students that we need to accommodate them. For instance, you may have a child with a listening impairment or speaking impairment. You need to have scribes or other forms of ways of how to deal with them besides the 40 others that you need to deal with on a daily basis. And we have to respect the fact that students are learners and also our instructions and assessment must change the soup, those students that we have around us. And that is what teaching profession is all about. Do not forget to watch, there was an Indian professor explaining the difference between before and now. And if you have your own time, you can always Google to find video clips that they talk about the changes that are happening nowadays. So how do we apply the teaching profession in the classroom? Well, some of us who have an opportunity to go to forum and discuss, yes, we are seeing a lot of changes happening and I have not done uh, five. The first one is instruction. Nowadays, we are able to multilingual decide multitask. You can either switch between 
your language of instruction, either you use Bishlama or Tafinakila where the students come from. And you also have different ways of making sure that the instructions are clear. We are more inclusive. We do not say you are, we are, we are gonna do this or a group of boys or girls, that sort of thing, we're not using them anymore. Our language have changed. Also, we're using, we are using different forms and format of giving our instructions. Some of us may use pictures with signs, as some of us, we have routines that we are using that before we're not use, usually using them. Some of us even have um, a bamboo or something in our classroom to beat. So if there's one beat, the students know that they're supposed to be sitting quietly. You have your own routines and ways of giving instruction. The second one is about the teaching strategies. Nowadays, they become more blended. We either use teacher standard in order to give our instruction, and then we provide students certain activities along with constructivism. The third one is about delivery. For you, it's it has always been a face to face. The students are always there with you. You as a student now, you've become to change from a face-to-face -face mode to online. For some other ones like USB, you can have a blended mode where you can study online or face-to-face -face session every now and then. Homeschool package, we can call it a distant learning opportunity for the students. So over the years, the teaching profession has changed as well. The fourth one is professional development. Let us not forget that students, even as young as our little ones in kindergarten or class one, they also have professional developments outside of school. For instance, um, some of them may go to music uh, class, they may go to Sunday school, they go to youth camp or whatever, as long as they're learning something, they, that is part of their professional development. For us as teachers in our profession, we are always required to either attend professional development workshops during two weeks holiday, if now and then they're part of what makes us uh, now work the changes are always happening around us. And the last one is the changing profession in the resources. We have a lot of hard copies that we use. We have a textbook or teacher's guide, reading materials. Today we have changing ones that you can also access online. We have new learning material and uh, material changes, maybe not just for our environment, but from other places. Our curriculum has changed as well. We have moved away from objects to outcome case. And the last one is we also have ICT tools that they're enabling us to ensure that learning is happening regardless of where we are. So those are our review from last week that we have an opportunity to look at. Now, I have missed something for this week and I know that most of you have not even access week two yet. Week two, the topic, if anyone is listening, and those of you who have access, what is the topic for this week? Anyone who have access, week two. Formal and informal education. Formal? And informal, uh, non-formal, sorry. Formal, non-formal. Non-formal and informal. And formal, informal learning. And formal I learning. To, okay, so there are three different ways of learning, and I have not really included here, so that you can actually have an opportunity to think about what is the difference between the three? What is the difference between formal and informal learning? And what is the difference between formal and non formal learning? So I am giving you an opportunity to review. What is a uh, formal learning? So if anyone can come up quickly with, what is a formal learning? What is formal learning? Anyone? Formal learning is that which takes place as in intended within formal constituent education institutional such as schools, college, and university. Okay, thank you. But I would prefer something short and coming from your intellectual. So in short, a classic example of formal learning is what we're doing right now. It is structured. 
it has a time frame and learners know exactly what they're supposed to be learning for adults. The little ones, we tell them exactly that, oh, we are having maths this morning, or we are having language, we are going to have PE, so they are structured. Either they can be short, but they can be a long duration of time. Formal learning is the structured learning. Informal learning, what's an, an example of an informal learning situation? Not learning in the classroom, but things around you outside or doing things using your hands, mind. Thank you. Uh, partly what we're looking for, but informal learning can be also named as incidental. You do not mean to learn those things, but they just happen. Oh, I press this button in, I realize that this is what it's presenting. For example, sharing my screen, or I told you to unmute or mute. So those are incidental learning or informal learning, the type of learning that we do not plan to happen, but it happened. And the last one, non-formal. What's a classic example of non-formal? Following up with the knowledge. For a non-formal learning, it take, uh, takes place outside the learning in, uh, environment, like going to sea and study about fish to swim in the sea. <laughs> Uh, yes, partly, but non-formal learning, they're not really, they're, they're mainly structured, for example, in a workshop. Um, it, you do not really know what exactly is going to happen. Or let's say a, a classic example would be uh, someone is giving uh, an awareness, awareness about the health protocol in regarding COVID-19. Those are non-formal thing that you just go and sit anywhere, no one tell you what to do, you just sit there and learn something. So those are non-formal occasions. Or oh, in church, did the pastor tell us exactly what we are going, what is his topic of um, preaching this week that his sermon is going to be on. So it's not really structured. For us as teachers, we sit there sometimes, you might chat, oh, this pastor is really talking too slow, or he should have said this, but he didn't. So those are non-formal, as well as in our Nakamal meetings, where the chief, there's a meeting about probably something to develop or hearing a problem being happening. Those are non-formal settings where it's not really organized. You're learning something, you're yeah. participating, but in a non-formal way, unlike in structured where you have to have a textbook or an exercise book, you have to have a pen, you have, you know exactly what you're supposed to be learning. So there is a difference between all three. So one of them is structured, one of them is incidental, one of them is semi-structured. But otherwise, that is what the topic is about for this week. I encourage you to make, your, make sure you download the readings. You know how to elaborate them in your own examples, in your own settings, sorry. And also take time, to do your own further research on what exactly are these three type of formal. Mostly the internet will record um, these three examples in the Western settings, but relate them to our own situations in Vanuatu. All of these three are happening in our school environment. We just need to realize them and identify when is formal uh, learning happening, when is informal learning happening and when is non-formal learning happening. We are using them all the time. We just don't realize that they have names and when they happen, they can be all blended or combined as one. Are we clear about this week's uh, topic? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move on to our next slide, which is our weekly or topic forum participation. But slowly people are drifting in to participate in its forum. But there are four assessment tasks in this course, and one of them is the forum participation. So when you do not participate in the forum, you're losing two marks. It's time that you do not participate. So each topic has its own forum, it's got two marks, and it will contribute to by July. If I add up your marks, the row marks are to 
40 and I've gone with them in the percentage. It is worth 10% of your student's final grade. Now, as of this morning, some people are asking, Madam, where do I see an attendance forum? Participants. If you can see on your screen, there's sort of like a blue and a green overlapping um, best sensor thing. Okay, so if you're looking at my screen, if you go to Moodle, you should be able to see a main global reading one. This is an example from uh, introduction page or the section. So sometimes I might use a section, sometimes I might use page. They're re referring you to where exactly you're supposed to go. So those red ones, they are readings that you're supposed to download. And then you see the red arrow pointing to self-introduction. So that is for the forum one introduction where you go and intro introduce yourself. Uh, Michael and Delma and the others, they have already introduced themselves. If you see a zero beside it, it means that I have not yet responded to you. If you see a one, it means I respond to you in order to welcome you to the forum. And then you will see a calendar and then you have someone last week's um, PowerPoint presentation and you also have someone video from last week. So that is where you go to find your forum. So when you go to the second one, <coughs> excuse me, you go to page two where you see educational topic 1.A, educational psychology, you will see the same icon, click on it, it will, it will take you to the forum and you should read the instruction. When you read the instruction, it will tell you add a new discussion topic, add a new discussion topic, click on it and you type your response. I'm encouraging you to leave your forum until the end after you have done some reading and you have watched a video and you really understood the topic. For most of us, I encourage you to type your uh, response onto a Word document. And then when once you go and click on add the new discussion topic, a space will drop and empty space will drop. Then you copy and paste, copy and paste there, and then you put down, click down, and then you um, save and display. Do not upload your document. Do not upload your document because it will take time to read them. And also, when you upload the document, it's not really fair that other people are pasting theirs and you're not pasting yours. And it will take time for me to keep plotting. And sometimes when I um, open them, they are corrupted. I cannot read your work. So please just copy straight into the space. Then you download and send. And I should be able to respond to you. Now, your first try is what I will mark. If you're sending two, I will only mark one. Once I mark for most of you, I respond to say, yes, well done, or you need to improve. If I'm asking you to improve, it doesn't mean go and redo again. I'm just telling you that you need to do further reading and also in the next time, you make sure that you improve. So I'm either giving you a one or a two, great. I think for one person, I give a zero, to be honest, because it's just totally out of topic. If you're not following instruction, you lose mark. So it's not just a matter of how well or uh, weekly you are attending, but make sure that you are following the instruction and you're doing the right thing. So it's either one mark or two marks, that's all. So please make sure you read before you go and attend. Don't just come in and put one sentence and think that is the answer. If you're doing that, you won't get any mark. For, for some of you, you might say, um, please elaborate or it's too brief next time. Make sure that you do at least two paragraphs. So two paragraphs, they're about 10 to 12 sentences and make sure you separate them. Some of us are doing really well. Some of us, I know when you're copying straight from the internet and pasting, because your language tells me that this is exactly what I have read somewhere before. So make sure it's coming from you, the smart teacher who can reflect on his or her own. Are we clear? Right, yes. the next one. Assignments. As I've stated earlier, we have uh, three major assignments. We have reflective essay, which starts last week, week one, and it will be due week five, which is the 
Friday, the 13th of May, you have about exactly three weeks to, to submit this assignment. So that's about 21, almost 25 days left, left for you to attend to your assignment. Assignment number two is um, analytic essay. It's another essay and it's uh, it starts in week four and it will be due in week nine in June. So you have one in May and you have another one in June. Forum participation is a weekly one. We have already gone through that. And the third one is the e portfolio and it will start in week seven and it's due in week 16 and of the semester, which is Friday the 29th or Sunday the 31st of July. So in order to pass this course, you must make sure that you submit all these assignments. You must aim to have at least a B or a C, sorry, a B or an A in order to proceed on the second semester. Are we clear? Right, assignment number one. Yes. You should already download this in your, um, you should already download this. Our as assignment page for this course, the assessment page is different. And like I said in our previous one, all the assessment should be done and uploaded into that page unless you have very special reasons to submit via email. But otherwise, all the assessment tasks should be uploaded into the drop in box over there. So our assessment one, assignment one, the reflective essay. This task provides you the opportunity to demonstrate critical thinking skills and also to reflect on classical and contemporary teaching and learning theories and their implications in the class one or two classrooms. So as I've already stated, it starts last week and it's to a Friday, the 13th of May, the latest by Sunday, the 15th of May. Total raw score is out to 50% and the weight is 25%. So you cannot move on if you only score 25% in this course. So make sure that you complete this. It's an individual task. You can discuss with your friends, but you have to submit it as an individual work. The word length is 1,500 words. That is should be about uh, three to four or five pages. There's also an Important announcement at the bottom, plagiarism is a serious offense. What does plagiarism mean? It means you copying other people's ideas without acknowledging them. There is also a reference page or a reference document that I have uploaded into introduction page and also to assessment page. Make sure you're ready to familiarize yourself with what is the APA referencing style. So if you are going to quote somebody, an established person who have written something, make sure you use quotation, quotation marks and use what year that um, work was published. As you, as you have seen in the previous slide, I said Montaigne 2013. So I am actually referencing to the person. Um, I'm using their words and acknowledging I am not plagiarizing because I acknowledge them. I have seen some people just copying straight without acknowledge. We do know when people are copying. Trust me, 27 years of teaching tells me when this is your work and when this is not your work. Also, in the future, when we have taken it in a program, it means all our work will be submitted. I'll give you an example. Last week on Good Friday, I submitted a work at USB, turned it in and it came back and said 55%. Plagiarizing, so it means I have to adjust my work over again. I am not stealing, but because I'm using the template from USB, so they assume that everything that I am submitting come from them. And the other thing is when you are quoting, make sure that you're using the right format. And I'm telling you now, any paragraph where the word is more than 30, that is when you paraphrase. And that make sure that you must acknowledge who is the author and what year they have published that work. So we're not stealing. Next one. What exactly are we looking for in this reflective essay? 
you focus on the four topics, educational psychology, the changing profession, informal, non-formal, and formal learning, plus constructive alignment. So it's basically about topic one, major topic one uh, assessment. <clears throat> so when you are reflecting what you are supposed to be doing, you focus on, you define, describe and reflect on the theory of teaching and learning processes according to the sources that you have consulted. How does this affect teaching and learning? What are the practical implications? For example, if you are going to apply educational psychology or the changing profession, informal, non-formal, and formal learning or constructive alignment in your classroom, how exactly are you using them? If they are not being used in our classrooms, how can we change or adjust them in order to use them? So you are basically relating what you have learned and you reflect on how you use them in your practice. You are required to at least use three referencing and you must, when you use them at the end of the page, you must make sure that you list them where you get your information from. Okay, so referencing and requirements, you will read about the details. I'm only copying certain bits and pieces of it in order to do this presentation. The cover page, from past experience, when students submit their work, either sometimes they only put their name, they do not put their student ID number. My expectation of you when you are submitting your work, this is your front page. You should have, your cover page must have EDPS 112 Educational Psychology. Uh, what year? In semester one, 2022. Assignment number one and name. What is the title of your assignment? It's a reflective essay. The due date? 13th of May 2022, but you're not submitting in June or July. Student full name, I've used an example of Nina Johnson Willie and her student ID number. This is a made up one, so please do not copy and tell uh, Nina. Nina is a Francophone student in EDPS 112. Make sure you spell my name correctly. It's at the School of Education, Kawendo Campus, Port Fila. And let me remind you to not use page spotter, just keep it plain. I do not want to see Christmas decoration or fancy background, whatever, just leave it plain. If you're going to use images, make sure you acknowledge the source of where you're getting your image from. If you're going to use your picture, that's good of you, but make sure that it's a small one, just on the top left hand corner of the page or the top right hand corner of the page and keep it simple, like a passport photo or something, just so I know. But otherwise, your assignment should be as plain as possible. What font sizes are we supposed to be using and what font type? The font type required is Times New Romans. Times New Roman and the size for this page should be 16. Your cover page should be size 16. Your headings should be 14, any subheading should be, um, sorry, 16. The subheading should be 14 and the content should be 12. And they should be, the spacing should be 1.5. So how do you do all this? Just type when you finish and you are ready to edit your work. Can you select all? And you go to the ribbon and you are to clear. Now, we are moving on to model section icons that uh, some of us is still not familiar with. So it's good that you know. When you go to model, you should be able in all the pages except for the last one, you will see a cloud bubble with a question mark. That is your personal reflection summary. Just to my daily process, what am I reading? What am I supposed to be doing? The second one, you will see a pile of books. It's a reference for you to do the readings. The third one, we have already talked about it. It's a forum to click to. By clicking on it, it should take you to another page for you to start attending the forum. You will see also an icon of either a page folded with a globe 
it's a URL to a video link. This is because we are not uploading video. We only give you the URL in order to free up the space in Moodle. And this will go to schools who are using Moodle. An example for you to be using to not upload videos because they take up spaces in a Moodle platform. So we are only giving you the URL. Once you click on the link, it will open up in a new window and take you directly to the video. And the last one is the assessment assignment Dropbox. This one you will not see in any other pages except the assessment page. And that is, this is where you track and drop or where you upload your assignment. So in our assignment or assessment page, you should see three. One is for assignment one, one is for assignment two, and also assignment three. In the assessment um, page, you also have forum one for assignment one, you have forum two for assignment two, and forum three for assignment three. Those are opportunities for you to discuss or ask any questions in relation to the assignment. So after today, I'm hoping to see people posting in assignment one forum. If you're not really clear or you want some explanation, go and ask because other people will benefit from you asking the question on their behalf. Five, communication in Moodle platform. Why are we moving to this? It's because when once we end the Moodle, it becomes free. Schools are given free access to Moodle. And it's unlike the data or your Facebook that will take time. So when you go to the Moodle platform, the first thing that you should be able to see is the Moodle Messenger. It is either on your top right hand corner, just beside your name, you will see a sign of an envelope. And you should see if you have incoming messages, you should have one, two, or three. It will indicate you. So click on them and respond to messages. They could either a message from me or from the admin. It could be one of your friends asking help from you. So you respond to them. Be polite and respond to them, just like you were taught during the induction. So you have to check it every time you go in. The next one that you should look out for is the news forum. Under it, after you've seen your course, you should see news forum. On the space, the latest news, click on their post that you should respond to as well. So far, I have posted three and no one has responded to them because probably we don't know that we're supposed to be responding to them. And the next one is the forums. They must all be attended during the appropriate um, time. So two or three have asked me, have you turned off the forums at the beginning? I said, I will turn off the forums at the end of the week, but I am being flexible. So it means topic one, topic two, and topic three for this month. I am leaving them open until the end of the month. So you have time to go in and post your responses in the forums. Just for communication purposes, for some of us, um, how can you get in touch with me? You can either call me. My phone number is 7351577. And I would ask you, with respect, if you can call me between 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 p.m. Unless your reception is not really clear and you have really urgent matters to attend to, then you can call at night. One or two people were calling me about half past nine or 10 o'clock last week. I did not respond to them. I text them back, but they did not call again. If you were one of them, next time just text because in your text, just don't forget to put your name. Uh, this is me, Odak. I am calling in regards to this. Can you please explain? So I can either call back or I will respond via text or whichever way I see it possible. Just so we respect each other's uh, visual hours of work. The second one is a group chat. Do not be afraid to go to our Facebook group chat. If you do not, you're not in a group chat, that's the easiest way. You go and create yourself a Facebook account and you either friend request me or Mr. Lawi and we will add you and to the group so you can keep up with the daily announcements because that principle 
might also it's also in the group chat she is reading your comments and also she can respond to you and other administrators can respond in the group chat as well the third one is the model messenger anytime i will respond to you my email address is uh, fl.morris at vite.edu.vu for those of us who have student id numbers those student ID numbers are actually your email addresses as well, but you can use to email to me. Just make sure the password is the same as the one you're logging in into Moodle as well, if I'm right. And the last one is the Facebook Messenger. You can message me anytime with matters relating to studies. And I am encouraging you, please use English when you are communicating because your assignments will be entirely in English, not in your vernacular, not in Bishlama. If you're going to type your assignment in Bishlama, I am telling you in advance, you will lose marks, okay? We are only respecting people like Clement if they wish to do their assignment in French, but he chose to do his assignment, his studies in English, so I'm thinking that he will also do his assignment in English as well. But with respect, if you are going to contact me with any matters to do with your studies, I would humbly ask you, please, to chat in English. Because we are used to talking in Bishlama or in Fenakila uh, to our students. We think that, oh, madam is my family or madam is my friend. We've known each other before. Respect this space and also improve your communication skills when you're communicating with me. Just for something to help us, and this is probably our second last time, my second last presentation, online learning skills. Last week, we look at um, the study skills and time management. And this week, I am cutting it down to online learning skills. An online learner is expected to develop the following skills. By this time, you should know that this is not a face-to-face -face course. And it requires you to make sure that you are participating entirely online. So what does this mean for you? You are an independent learner and you will take ownership of your learning. The second one, it will become student-centered. It means all the learning material has been thrown to you. You make sure that you are learning on your own by yourself. So it has become student-centered. Number three, you must make sure that your way that online studying is knowledge-based. So if you're one of those people that you're depending on other people to relate learning content with you, it's about time you change that because it's everything you need to know about your course, it's entirely online. Next one is take the lead in contacting lecturers. And in bracket, they put no secondhand information. Some people are asking others, either year two students, to ask me, when are we going to have class? When is this happening? Can you tell madam that I am not, I'm going to submit next week? Please stop using other people as your messenger or stop asking them to ask on your behalf. You are an adult. You are an independent learner. You can do this. You can ask me for help. I am speaking in English, but I am a Nippon, and I'm here to help you to make sure that you pass your course. So please be responsible. You're not going to die trying to talk to me. If Warren can call me from South Malakula to ask about where can I load this, you have all the right under the sun to ask help. That's why we're here. So take your own lead instead of asking other people to uh, assist you. If you do not own a smartphone, I am humbly asking you to own one, go and get yourself one. You own it to yourself to buy a smartphone where you can access all your work or a tablet or a laptop, anything that will enhance your learning. The next one is allocate time in your daily routine to attend to study. Make time at least two hours every day to spend in your study. If you can make time to listen to other people, or for our spouses or children or our work, we can also make time for our study as well. The next one is submit your own work on time. 
I have people calling me and saying, Matam or Auntie or Tawian, can I submit my forum next week? I am going to be really formal about this. Two dates, a two dates, unless you have a really good reason. And like I said, the forums are still open until end of the month for you to submit your work. So just don't keep asking that, can I submit later? Because we all have work to be marked. Next one is when you are either in our chat group or on Zoom like right now, or you are uh, chatting, be respectful and polite, okay? Remember that these are formal ways of communicating. They're not where we can uh, joke with our, uh, whoever we want to joke with or whatever we bring foul language in or square words inside. Make sure that you're respectful and you're polite when you are addressing people online. The second last one is the ability to read and discover learning on our own. We need to develop this. Just in the two weeks and people are asking me, can you explain to me what is educational psychology? Where can I go to find this? You're supposed to be an independent learner and discover things on your own. If you're not a reader before, make sure that your reading skills need some testing up and need to improve as much as possible. And the last one is goal setting. Set your goals. What do you want to achieve today? What do you want to achieve this week? What do you want to achieve this month? So that by end of this semester, you should be able to achieve the learning that you set up for yourself. Bear in mind that you are paying for this course and when you pay for something, you want to make sure you get the best out of it. If we are telling our own children or our own students that you study hard in order to pass your course, this time you tell yourself in a mirror, you need to study hard. What if you need to wake up and start polishing up your study skills? Okay, talk to yourself that if I can spend uh, almost over 60,000 in this course, I must make sure I pass this course. That money must not amount to nothing. If I am going to get a loan from PNBF or NBP or whichever bank to pay for my fees, make sure that you do not pay that irritated loan for nothing. And just so you know, if you are a self-sponsor or a private student, as some people call themselves, if you're a self-sponsor, make sure you're budgeting. Pay for your own fees so that by the end of next year, December 2023, when you graduate with your diploma, GSC will upgrade your salary scale from a certificate to a diploma, and they will also refund the amount of money that you spend. If you are taking a loan from PNDF, I'm sorry, but the money goes only to PNDF. So it's just some ways of motivating ourselves that we pay for what we are paying. We must make sure that we achieve our goal at the end of the semester. I think that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for your listening. I am not going to turn off my shared screen. If you have any questions regarding what we have gone through today, please be free to ask. Before we end this session, our time now is five o'clock, but I will still go on until 10 past five or 20 past five the latest, if you have any questions regarding what we have discussed today. Ms. Avril. Yes, go ahead. Thank you, Lo. Thank you for the presentation. Kubra. Go ahead. Did I press something or I'm waiting for someone to keep talking? Can you still hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, whoever was yes. talking earlier, can you, uh, if you can unmute, and mute your mic so again we yeah, can yeah. all hear what you're saying. Well, go ahead. Yeah. What's your name? Kamaste. My question is regarding the assignment. Yes, is there ahead. any possible is there any possible that I can submit any trial submission uh, to you or you mean we finally submit the final one? 
Okay. Uh, in the bus, we've uh, people have requested, but imagine that if we have different markets, it will make sense, right? But okay. I'm the one who is uh, doing the course. I am one who have. I am the one designing the assignment, and I am the one who will mark the assignment. So, if you send me trials and I give back and forth going back, it's like I am doing the assignment for you. Okay. So I would rather you submit the final one. You can, um, my advice would be go and look for examples of what is a reflective essay. What are reflective essays? We uh, ask some people, they might want us to give you examples or samples of what is a reflective essay, but then it uh, dominate your creativity. So a reflective essay is simply about thinking over what I have learned and what I, how am I supposed to do this? So I'm sorry, Kamastia, but I would rather you submit me the final one. Because okay. tracking back and forth, imagine if 105 students decide that they are going to send their trial. So we will go back and forth over and over again. So with your respect, I would rather you submit the final ones. But just keep trying your best with whatever you're supposed to be doing now. Thank you. Answer your thank question? You. Yeah, thank you. Any more queries? Thank you, Alcine, for joining in. Uh, Miss Sifrin. Yes. Okay, uh, we have Otak and we also have someone calling Mrs. Morris, so whichever one should go ahead. Maybe we have Otak and then we have the next one. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, I just want to say, uh, firstly, I just want to say thank you for the presentations this afternoon. Uh, presentation is uh, clear and uh, everything that you said is in the slides that are in, uh, in the model. So what I just want to say is uh, we will just follow the slides and continue to uh, do a lot of uh, uh, reading and uh, we can uh, understand. We can understand what we are supposed to be doing. And uh, I think uh, as for me, um, I am clear about uh, everything that you've been uh, presenting this afternoon. Thank you. You're welcome, Otak. This is recorded and we will upload it into our sessions. I will tell you where to go and Kalsin will also send the links. So you can always watch it when you're not sure. And I, also up, I will also upload the slides yeah. to week two. So that's the thing we do each week will be uploaded each time that we go through. So you can always go back. If you're an audio learner, it means you need to hear instruction over and over again. You can always go back. Yes, um, Thank you. Thelma, if you're indicating with the raised hand, go ahead. <coughs> uh, hello. Yes, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Ms. Morris, for the presentation. It is uh, very, very clear on behalf of uh, me, Mrs. Joel, and uh, Ms. Clipo. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Any more pressing issues before we go to a very corner spot a week? Mrs. Morris? Yes. Good afternoon. Thank you again for your presentation. Just a question about the assignment. Mm -hmm. um, are we going to submit using PDF uh, format or what document format? It doesn't really matter. We encourage people to PDF their work when they're submitting their assignment. So it's, uh, it takes more uh, less space. But if you cannot PDF your work, you're sending it. No other person is seeing it except myself and the IT people. So you submitting it there, not, no one has access. Your friends do not have access to drop in box to remove anything. So do not be afraid that, oh, if I'm submitting, Otak will go and look at my work now. Because I'm the administrator, I'm the one who created the drop in box. So I'm the one who will download all the documents. So you can either 
PDF to save space and faster. But if you do not know how to PDF your work and you want to keep it in Word, it's still okay. But strictly with us, we are asking you to either PDF your work as well. Okay, thank uh, so you. Your question? Yep, this is thanks. strictly for assignment, not, not for forums. Forums, you copy paste. If you are submitting your work in a Word document to forums, uh, I think one person is doing it and I've asked her to make sure that she copy paste because it takes time and sometimes the uh, document is corrupted. Any more questions? Either to do with study or to do with school of education. Yes, go ahead. This is Songi, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, yes, this is Songi. Thank you very much for the presentation today. Uh, I just joined in on this forum. I missed out the last one from the past week. But uh, your uh, presentation was very clear. And uh, I am very clear with what you have presented today. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Songi, and make sure that you include yourself. Like I said last week, networking is really important. And I thank the group from Central, from Kaweno, from Manua, from um, Pentecost. I think people who are sharing um, devices in order to join in Zoom, there is a classic example of networking. So, Kamastia, you have uh, Lewas and you have I'm not really sure who else is at Edith's Grace. With you lots, you can always sit together to discuss your assignments if you're facing difficulties. Welcome, um, Songi, and make sure you include your friends as well. Any more questions? Okay. Or comments? Go ahead. Uh, we have a question. Are you taking attendance? <laughs> Yes, I am taking attendance and Carlson is recording it for me. Okay, so here is uh, Felicia. Felicia, uh, Mineti, yes. Mineti, Erima, and Chimi. We are all here this afternoon. Chimi, Neti, and Erima. Erima, there's four of you, right? Yeah. And Neti, five. Five of you. Uh, no, four. four. Melina is not here. Oh, it's Melina. She's gone missing to Epi or she's still around? <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, Felicia, Neti, Erima, and Chimi. Chimi. Thank oh, you welcome. for the nice presentation. You're Thank welcome, you. and I hope Chimi is helping you ladies out. Yep. Chimi, is Chimi being a, a good chief to you ladies? Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> make sure you keep him in your network and include uh, Melina. You're welcome, and list me to make sure you get in touch. Anybody else? Emu, are you still online at Pele or you phone fishing? Hello. Yes. Good afternoon, Mrs. Morris. Thank you very much for the nice and clear presentation. Um, I just want to ask, uh, what if, um, like sometimes we find it difficult, find it difficult to put in our forums in, how do we know that we're doing the right thing, putting it on the right places, putting on the right place, putting on it on the right place? Uh, are you going to like to correct us for the forum, just for the forum. Like last week I put on mine and then I don't know whether it went through. I didn't know okay. whether you read it. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Anyway, thank you for the nice presentation. You're welcome, uh, Imu, you're not alone. Uh, for those who posted earlier before Sunday, before Sunday, six o'clock, I think, I attend to them and I respond to their query. When I see the forum is in the right place, I message the person to tell 
him or her that you're posting in the wrong place, you need to go back to this place here and uh, just your, your response. So I am trying my best to track everybody to make sure that wherever, if you're in the wrong forum, I will direct you to the right one. Okay, um, thank you very much. Linge yes, so I will try my, I'm trying my best to make sure I'm attending to everybody. I think uh, is Linge still training in? Linges? Um, okay, Linges, can I use you as an example? This is Linges, if you're still around. Yeah. I'm here. Linges, is it okay if I use you as an example? Yes, you can. Okay, thank you, Linges. Okay, uh, I'll um, Emo, if you're listening and people who are afraid that I will go missing in forums, forums, whenever I, you post, they appear as my notification to see who has posted and what time that person has posted. For mm -hmm. example, Ling is on, on Sunday, she posted her respond to the news forum. So I respond to her that Ling is, you're posting in the wrong forum. Can you can copy paste? your forum and make sure you put it in the right place. So I directed her and she went and did the right thing. So if you're lost, okay. I will tell you. Okay. So since uh, Sunday, I did not yesterday, I leave it as it is. And today I will respond to forums and make sure when okay. I respond, go and read my comments. So if you see zero is still beside your name in your forum, it means Mrs. Morris has not responded to your forum yet. So okay. when I respond, it will appear as your notification that Mrs. Morris has responded to your forum. Are we clear now, uh, Imo? So you're not going to go missing. You will not get lost in forums. Okay. If, um, if, yeah. if, sorry, it's still me at not. Um, if my answer is not correct. Um, will I redo it again just for the forum? Oh, okay. who is this? Galaxy A036 Pamela? Uh, no, Agnes. Okay. If your forum is wrong, should I redo it again? Okay, my if you were listening earlier, I said that forums they are only first attempts. Okay. First attempts, that is why you only get to do it after you have read the readings, you have watched the video, and you are really sure that your two paragraphs are really what I'm asking you. So all of the forums, they're more or less the same. They are going to ask you, I'm asking you to define. Definition means you give the meaning in your own understanding. How well do you mm. understand what is the okay. teaching changing profession? And then paragraph mm. two, how do you apply this in the classroom? I am going to use Lyndon's example. My response to him was your explanation is clear, but do not talk about the 1000 plus teachers in Vanuatu. You only talk about your own practice. Mm -hmm. So how do you apply the teaching profession to your classroom at Tilanot School? So you mm -hmm. do not talk about other people, which is yours. So that is why we only keep it to two paragraphs. If I okay. check and you're not following instruction, you either get one mark or you get two marks or you get zero. Okay. Someone respond. Yes, like I'm giving you an example. Someone responded mm -hmm. and said, uh, teaching profession is, uh, for example, you change from a teacher to a bank tailor. Okay, it's really off. So I responded to that person and said, no, this is not what I'm looking for. So you will see my comment that is a bit off. So it's giving you an opportunity that in your next forum, you make mm. sure that you understand the questions of the instruction. But I am not going to mark the second one. Uh, come as the knows this. Okay. Okay, are we clear? So it's a yes, reflection. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome, Agnes. Any more questions? Okay, Madam Charlie, hand raise. Go ahead. Uh, good. 
Good afternoon, uh, Madam Morris. Uh, Madam Morris, did you copy? Yeah, um, you know, I don't know one Ah? No, no, Miklan. Miklan, you clear. You talk to. Okay. okay, thank you, Madam Morris. Uh, uh, thank you for the nice presentation this afternoon on behalf of uh, uh, Mr. Warren Christie, whom I am uh, here to to help him out with um, the courses uh, tutorial and the Zoom that we've covered uh, last week and this week. Thank you once again for the nice presentation this afternoon. Um, we are. Uh, this is what he would like to say. He wants to, to convey the word of appreciation. Thanks for the nice presentation this afternoon. Everything is crystal clear. So um, there's only one question that uh, Mr. Christie would uh, would like to ask is concerning the uh, one of the textbook you've mentioned last week during the presentation, the global textbook. Uh, he would like to know, are we still wondering or uh, is it okay that we still continue to read that within this text, I mean, within this week? The global textbook, are we still needing that book? I mean, to go along with that reading book this week? Sorry, Larry <clears> Takova, <throat> Mrs. Morris Covinis. I was speaking in Pislama. Expensive, uh, expensive English plumbing. Uh, within the textbook, sorry, I mean, I have too much one um, now. Textbooks you may stop talk about. Uh, Mrs. Morris, I mean, Mary Cotton, I have to answer back. No, you may after we just any finish. Me hope say maybe internet plan will be out now. I can say me leave. I had to blow my refill back and mama come data and come back in. But me take not law one of my message. I'm a similar. I'm a server respond back to you to hold up. And so I'm coming. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so far so good. 20 minutes after low five o'clock. And me to me cut one other meeting. Now she should start low five minutes, but we still stop with the Yuvala. So pursue me all right to you, me. Let me have a finish from now. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Good afternoon. Thank you. Good right. okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good Good Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. 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 Thank I will very appreciate them and that they full up you may join. Hope say next meeting a full up and full up mobile joining and we will appreciate mm -hmm. them plan. Today you may go as far as 30 for 40 participants. Okay, from now, bye bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.